So you like pixel art and you want to make pixel art, but you want to do it inside of Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create pixel art or turn your scene that isn't pixel art into pixel art in Blender 2.8 EV. So we're going to get started. It's very, very, very simple. There's a couple of steps right now. I have a couple of lights set up. Uh, let me go ahead and turn my background. What am I doing here? Uh, well, let's just do that. There we go. All right, so uh, we have a couple of things here. Um, I have two lights. This one light coming down from the top, which is an area light set to square, somewhere around 16, and then I have a bottom light coming from the back, uh, same, same exact thing. So we have that lighting set up. And the great thing about this is when I render this, you should be able to see that it has completely uh, just uh, weird looking, you know, regular blender looking stuff with hard shadows, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all there is. Uh, we don't want that. We want pixel art. So what we're going to do is first thing, we're going to go to our dimensions tab here in our output, and we're going to change this resolution really super low. We're going to go to 100 by 100. Now you can go by pixel art sizes, 128 by 128, which um, I'm actually going to do. So we're going to do 128 by 128 instead of 1,000 by 1,000. Um, you can also do 64 by 64, 32 by 32, um, but those are kind of small, and I want to stay in a bigger resolution for today. So now, if I were to render this again, you'd be able to see, tell that our render is like super, super small. Look how small that is. Um, and it doesn't look like pixel art, it just, looks like, it just looks like a blurry picture. It doesn't look like pixel art at all. So, um, we're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and close that out. And what we can do is we can scroll on down in our, uh, in our scene tab here. We can scroll on down to film. And in film, we have this thing called filter size. Now, you probably thought that this was, had nothing to do with anything that we would be doing. But, if we turn this all the way down which is uh, which is 0 0.01 by the way it doesn't go lower than that we go to render render image you can see that if i were to zoom back in you can see we have much more crisp of an image you see we actually have actual individual pixels that you can pick out here uh as opposed to what was it 1.5 as opposed to this that's not the same this is very this, that was anti-aliased it had anti-aliasing on it i'm gonna go ahead and put that all the way back down and now, to get an even more big, uh, good pixel art look, we're going to go to Shadows here and we're turn Soft Shadows on and get rid of all of that, that ugly, um, hard shadow light that we didn't need. Now we still have these, this nice shading, but it's not jagged and like... Um, so that's good. Now, the last thing I want to do here is this um, shading on that, that this uh, render here, it's not very pixel art-like. I mean, this would be really, really high quality pixel art if you shaded it this way. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. I have a video on the channel about um, cell shading or tune shading. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and split that, split our window into two by dragging from the top there. And we're going to turn this left-hand side or the right-hand side to the shader editor. And I'm going to get rid of this. Now you can see I have some stuff already set up here. Um, and what this is pretty much is, is it's no big deal. Right now we just have the diffuse set up. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that at all. We just have the diffuse. Ignore these two down here. We have a regular diffuse shader. But if I plug this diffuse into the shader to RGB, which is just a shift A, search, and then you just go out, type in shader, shader to RGB right there, plop that right down there next to it, and then if I grab a color ramp, which is shift A, color ramp right there, if I grab one of those, and then usually this will be set to something that looks like, um, something looks like this, right? So we change this from uh, solid black and white gradient to these three harsh colors here by turning this from linear to constant and then grabbing this white color and dragging it back here. I'm going to change this to a yellowish color. This is what I did up there, a yellowish color. Then I'm going to hit this little plus button to add in another one. And then this one will be a nice blue color like, uh, like that, right? Maybe not like that, like that. Now I move that over a little bit. And then with this black color, I will change this to a... Um, a uh, darker purplish red like I have up there which is a nice color for pixel art for blacks instead of having instead of having that be solid black we have that be like a darker purple looks much better we'll change that back to blue there we go so that's pretty much what I did right there that's it now if I were to go ahead and use this and plug this into the material output you can see that now we have uh, cell shading which looks much more like pixel art, which looks great, but it'll get even better when we do this. When we hit render and go to render, you can see we have gorgeous, gorgeous pixel art. Look at that. 
Looks absolutely fantastic. You can see we have a couple of these uh, little uh, shaded pieces here, which are still shadows from the soft shadow setting. If you don't want those at all, you can go ahead and select one of your lights. Let me close this uh, shader editor here. You can select uh, all of your lights in your scene, go to the light tab here, and turn shadow off. And go to the other light, turn shadow off. And now you can see if I were to turn this back on, back on and off, you can see we have those little pieces down there that are popping on and off. If you don't want that extra shading, you can definitely get rid of that. Now you see we don't have any of that other extra shading here in the blue. Look at this blue right down here. Let's try to keep your eye on that, right? So that's what we have there. Now if I were to go ahead and turn shading back on for both of those, for both the lights, you can see that if I zoom back in, we have all of this down here as well. So if you don't want that, you can definitely just turn that shading, the shadow on the light settings off. But that is very, very gorgeous. This works with any model anywhere um, because, I mean, it's not it's not model specific. It's... Um, it's, you're, you're just doing it with the uh, camera here. If I were to add in a Suzanne and then uh, put the same material on her, move the rock out the way a little bit, move her over. You can see that if I were to do that, it's the exact same thing. We can do the same thing here. Let me turn uh, the shading off for the lamp shadow. Shadow. Now you can see we have that. If I want to smooth it, I just put the uh, subsurf on there, uh, bump it up a little bit. Maybe turn smooth shading on. Don't forget about that. Smooth shading. There we go. Looks much better. Now you can see I render this. Boom. Shading right there. Amazing, amazing pixel art. Easy. Very, very simple to do. This works with any model, any setting, anywhere. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then. Bye-bye.